hello again and welcome to Cosmic Stories with me, Kate Slade, where we discuss wisdom from within, our galactic heritage, our galactic forefathers, and the energies that we can use to really integrate and help us in our awakening experience. So today we're going to discuss an energy from Sirius, which is, seriously, (laughs) which is relevant. Uh, which is very relevant to the time because we've just gone through the Sirius gateway, right? So we've just been receiving these super intense energies that I'll probably go into in another video. Yes, very pertinently, um, we're going to be talking about a Sirius energy using the Galactic Heritage deck, card number 45, which is long-term goals. This is an energy from a past time stream of Sirius. So in the first era of civilization, their first era of existence, where they were still a kind of immature species, still going through their separation experience and experiencing a lot of polarity. So I'm going to go into a lot more detail about this and go deeper into the meaning of the card. As humans, you know, most humans, um, we navigate through this reality using our mental body, right? Kind of very much using the mind to navigate and we'll, you know, set a goal, move towards it, accomplish it, set another goal, you know, move towards that goal and the next goal, etc, etc. It's a very incessant goal-oriented navigation and honestly it just becomes so unfulfilling you know just like trying to reach happiness right just trying to get to that stage you know very kind of common story and theme of self-help is really just kind of breaking out of that because it is so unfulfilling and, and empty if you're just so linear in that way it takes you out of your heart to be so focused in in the mental body and it leaves you feeling really disconnected from the energy of the cosmos from the energy of you from the energy of the universe and you just will never really feel at peace right so this card's message long-term goals is not really about Syrian or human goals. It has more to do with reevaluation. Right, that's the real message. So it is time then to reevaluate not only what your goals are, but going deeper than that, reevaluating what your definition of a goal actually is. So are your goals firmly focused in the outer world are your goals do they only relate to the external world around you like this job this career this relationship you know is that your only definition of of goal or are your goals do they take you deeper within your own consciousness right really just kind of think about what your goals actually are and this is super important <clears throat> that we question this um, as as humanity as we're going through this awakening and as we're moving deeper and deeper into fourth density experience right when we're just putting it all together right the integration work because these old ways of navigating internally don't serve us any longer and we can we can totally see that with all the frustration that's going on And if you try to navigate reality using an old paradigm, the result is just pure frustration, right? And just look what's going on in the world around us now. These old patriarchal power greed greed systems aren't serving us anymore and we are super waking up to that, right? So just the same as the outer reality, it's the same with your inner reality. So this card then, the energy behind this, this serious energy really suggests that you look at the goals that you've had in your life, right? Have you moved closer to them? Have you been putting them off for later and later just isn't arriving, right? You just, you're just never able to reach these external goals. And really just kind of question that and, and, and look inside and, and think, you know, why is that happening? Why are you not reaching those goals? And maybe you might come to the realization that it's because the foundation that housed those goals, you, you, still needs refinement, right? So, you know, maybe these goals were never actually authentically you. They weren't your goals. They were just goals that society told you or your family told you about. They weren't really you, your, your authentic you. 
right? Really feel that. And the suggestion is that you begin rebuilding the foundation of your house, the foundation of you, right? From the bottom up. And how many dreams have you had about being in a house? That's just your mind, right? And basically, you know, going deeply within to the core of your consciousness first is important before trying to focus your energy on the external world, right? Because it's just a reflection. You need to go in. So deep within yourself, find out what is true. What is really you? Ask those questions, ponder those questions, meditate on those questions. Is your body you? Is this me? Is your human identity you? Your ego? The name you've been given? The personality you've, you know, the story that you've been telling yourself? Is that you? What is at the core of your awareness? What are you really aware of? What, you know, and once you, you really find what is really and truly you, then you can start building a new foundation from there, right? And you can start using the, the true energy of you, the authentic you, and build from there, rather than building from, you know, an external, what you've been told and what you've absorbed. You can really step into you, right? So by consciously choosing how to build you, how to build this foundation, you choosing it not them and you know what materials to use what energy to use your relationship to this goal oriented linear system your relationship to this goal oriented human reality begins to change right definitely it will 100 percent. and you'll probably find that what you valued your value system completely changes right you're just realizing that it's, you know, these old values are no longer important and you gain strength and courage to just let them go so that you can be yourself. And when you do that, you create a space, right? You're creating more space for the new you to arise. It's amazing. So, and you know, we've got to always stay in balance right? So conversely, part of this process is finding out what is not you, right? Fear, judgment, anger, self-loathing, self-delusion. Those things aren't you. They're just part of the illusion to help wake you up, right? Because they're imposed from the external world. They're not you. So all of these things, they're just layers of human consciousness, just filters, not human consciousness, sorry, they're layers of, of, of the human costume, they're filters of this avatar that you've built up, that you wear until you realize that you aren't really who you thought you were, right? So it's really time now to begin shedding these layers, shedding these filters, right? Your avatar, you know, your ego is just very innocently doing that to help keep you safe, but really now it's just time to let go of that. And now we're coming full circle in terms of goals, okay? So while the human you has had goals since you were born, the real you, the infinite one, has only one long-term goal, which is to shine itself in its fullest capacity as a conscious, free and awake being right it's beautiful and as this becomes the main focus your physical reality will shift and you'll see it before your eyes it will shift to support this new focus and this new relationship to being a human with goals right and it's just rebuilds itself dramatically as well so it's no longer linear so really you have to ask yourself are you ready and willing to be able to facilitate this incredible shift that's available to you okay so thank you so so much for listening namaste i love you very much and 
please join me again where I talk more about cosmic consciousness and our ET family, our galactic history, all this incredible fun stuff. Yeah, so thank you so much. Join me again. I love you and I'll speak to you very, very soon.